All right, so now let's talk about React JS. So what is it? Why is it important? Why do you need to understand this if you want to become a blockchain developer? So we'll revisit the um, you know architecture of a decentralized application here, where we can see you have a user that connects their wallet, you know, with their browser to a website, and that website talks to the blockchain. We've talked about multiple parts of this already. You know, the wallet's going to be MetaMask, and the smart contracts should be in Solidity. Of course, the blockchain's here with nodes. Uh, we talked to the blockchain with Ethers JS, and um, the website portion is what we're going to create in React JS. So React is a JavaScript framework for creating user interfaces. You can use it uh, to create websites. You can use it to create mobile applications with some extensions and lots of other things. And React specifically is my go-to library or framework, I should say, for creating JavaScript websites, particularly for blockchain development. So why is that? Well, it's I, I like it a lot. I've tried lots of different JavaScript frameworks and React is the one that, that I prefer, but not just because I happen to like it. Lots of other people agree with me. And it's an industry standard that gets used widely across the blockchain development ecosystem as a very large market share. So if you learn React, you're going to have a super in-demand skill set that you can apply to many, many, many other projects. Okay. So what I want to do in this video is really just give you an introduction to React, why it's important, why you need to use it. I don't really want to do any coding uh, in this video because we're going to get a lot of that in the Capstone project. And I don't think there's a lot of value in just creating a simple React app by itself. Okay. But uh, I'll give you a quick overview. So essentially, you know, React is a component-based library, which means that uh, you create your uh, all your code inside these reusable components. So you can see an example here. See this class hello message extends React component. You can create React components, um, you know, with classes or functions. We're going to use functional React components in this uh, bootcamp, and you can see that basically, you know, you are creating JavaScript code uh, mixed in with HTML code inside of here, and so um, that's pretty standard for modern JavaScript frameworks. And another thing I'll say is, if you're coming from another JavaScript background um, and you you work with a different framework, or maybe you've never used a framework before you can probably pick up React pretty quickly. And even if you don't have a lot of programming experience, uh, you'll get the hang of React because you end up doing a lot of the same types of things over and over again. So this is an example of a simple component. Again, it's a component-based library to where you can organize your code into the reusable components, all right? Uh, it's also a stateful library, which means that if you want to uh, keep track of data inside the application, you can uh, use the React state object. We're also gonna talk about another way to do that here in a second. But what does state mean? So for example, you know, whenever you are uh, creating something like a to-do list inside of a React application, and you see a to-do list here, and you say item one, all right, and the item two, you know, how do you know which items are on this to-do list? Because we just saved them uh, on this website. Well, basically, that's what the state object is for. It, it handles which to-do items would go inside the to-do list with this items array right here. So you're going to see lots of examples of that when we start building out the Capstone project. Uh, but it's got a lot of other really nice features. It's a fully-fledged framework. It's an industry standard. It's created by Facebook. A uh, really, really mature library at this point that's widely used in blockchain development. Now let's also talk about Redux because this is another library that we're going to use uh, heavily inside the Capstone project. So first, let's compare and contrast React and Redux. So first of all, you know, React, what's, what's its core responsibility? Well, basically, it's responsible for organizing all the code on the page, handling any kind of user interactions, like adding this do items to the to-do list, and managing some basic state like that, um, you know, creating any functions, and, and really responsible for everything that you see on the page. Now, one way that I personally think that React falls a little bit short, and this is a feature, not a bug, in my opinion, is when you're talking about handling large amounts of data, okay? And that's really what Redux is for. So uh, whenever we're, you know, talking to the blockchain, uh, we're going to need to fetch a lot of data, like uh, smart contract information, um, you know, account balances, all that type of stuff, and then work with it on our uh, front end. So we essentially want to create almost like a uh, pseudo database on our front end so that we can access this information, load it from the blockchain once, and then work with it and manipulate it, okay? And that's exactly what Redux is for. So this is a, a state container for JavaScript applications. So basically what that means is we can create kind of like a client-side database 
and store a lot of information. And Redux is going to be a more robust tool for doing that than React is. And so if that sounds a little abstract right now, um, don't worry, it's going to make sense when you start coding out the Capstone project. I just want to introduce you to these concepts so that you can see uh, where we're headed with the Capstone project. Again, I don't really want to do much coding in here because I think you know trying to build a basic React application and plugging Redux in doesn't have a ton of value um, unless we're doing it in the context of actually building a blockchain application. You're going to get all that experience as we start uh, building out that Capstone project. So that's all I got for this video, and I'll catch you in the next one.